If you have a broken electrical connector, but your wires are good, you can replace that connector without cutting any of the wires. In today's episode of Tool Demos, I'll show you how to do that. Come on, we'll start right now. I'll be using this terminal toolkit from Cornwell Tools. Or is it a Steelman? Let's have a peek inside and find out. This is the kit that I'm going to use to depin that connector. It says Cornwell on it, but I suspect it's made overseas by Steelman or someone who makes Steelman products. This is a 24 piece set. It comes with an application guide and it tells you all of the applications that these tools can be used for. We're using it on a Toyota, so let's look for Toyota. It's here, number 22. Just pick number 22 out of the bunch. And if you ever get those mixed up, it's written right here on the handle. So that's what this tool looks like for Toyota. Each tool is slightly different and they give you a clue as to how those pins come out. So let's check that out. We've got some tape here. I just want to get rid of that. An easy way to do it is with this sewing seam ripper. It comes with the set. So different manufacturers use different types of connectors. Some use connectors where the pin terminals push in from the back and sometimes they pull in from the front. Most of the time they're push in from the back, so we're going to release it from the front and it'll pull out of the connector this direction. So this tab here is what locks the connector into its female companion. And this white plastic is the lock for all of the terminals that go into the connector. So you have to remove this lock first. Every connector has some type of lock. They all look kind of different. This one, we're going to have to pry it straight up out of the connector. There you go. That's what the lock looks like on this connector. We'll just set it to the side for now and we'll put it back when we're done. So we're going to go for this red wire here. That terminal is right there in the corner. We'll go in, feel it twang, it loosens up and it pulls right out. When it clicks, back in. So let's go for this green wire here. So we'll just insert the tool here under the terminal and we'll feel for a lock. And that's it. Just give it a little bit of a pry and a push and when it clicks you're done. One more time. So it goes in here under the terminal and you're just going to pry down on that locking tab. There you go. And then we'll replace it this way. And that's it. Pretty simple. Something to remember is that there's a lot of wires here and the order that they go in is absolutely critical. So one thing that you could do is remove one terminal like that. And then instead of trying to write down what color goes where, just take this terminal and put it into your new connector and then move on, take another wire out, put it into the new connector and just do them one at a time so that you don't get them confused. Turn this back over and we're gonna reinstall the lock. This would be on the new connector. Just install the lock back where it went. Just like that, and you're done. This connector is tight and it's ready for use. I make sure I put this tool back. This is my favorite one. Obviously, I work on a lot of Toyotas. I hope this helped. The plastic in those connectors gets really brittle, especially when the connectors are exposed to high heat or an oil leak over a long period of time. 
I've seen so many connectors wired in place or zip ties holding them down and it's really not necessary. Hopefully you can see now that it's a really easy fix that you can do yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. To see all my content when it's released, click over here. And click here to see another Tool Demos video. You know you want to.